Y'all wanna know what's so funny? Uh, I'm at work and I'm editing like this. Yeah, I'm editing this thing. So that's why I'm like kind of looking because I still wanna finish my work, but I just really just feel like talking. <laughs> so it's just so funny how I just don't, I just don't believe in keeping your faith out of the workplace. I just don't. If you are, if, if you recently saved by Christ, you know, God is going to, God, God is going to trust you. God is going to trust you with what you have right now. And he is waiting on you and testing you and testing your faith you know, to see how much he's going to pour into you. We, we are faithful servants to our father. And so when we're saved by Christ, it is every single Christian's calling to preach the gospel, every single one. And so I don't care what situation you're in, you know, if you love Jesus, you're gonna share the good news. Like, it's your duty. It's your duty and it becomes your truest desire once you're reborn in the spirit because you know God gave you a new heart. And so it is your desire. Like like these are my desires. These are my desires. If all I want to do is speak about Jesus and spread the good news and share the gospel and show people how much God loves them every single day. That's my greatest desire. If it were up to me, I'd be I'd be sharing the gospel full time. But but God disciplines those he loves and he is going to discipline you and he is going to test you to see if, if to, and he's going to trust you with the little before he trusts you with the lot. God's not going, God, God's not, God is not going to, is, is not going to give you more than you can handle and you need to prove that you can handle just a little bit, you know? Okay, you're saved by Christ. Are you preaching the gospel to your friends and family? to your to your coworkers are you preaching the gospel are, are are you you know i went to like every single day i'm a laborer many are called few are chosen and even fewer are laborers so if you are not laboring you know god's not going to god's not going to trust you with more you know some people are saved by christ and they're not necessarily laborers but you know they love jesus and maybe share the word a couple of times but they're not really laborers right? It's so important that you choose to be a laborer. When I go, every single time I leave my house, you are being called to labor. You are being called to labor. Don't just, don't, don't just go to the chiropractor. Don't just go to the chiropractor. Go to the chiropractor and ask them if they need prayer. I, I went to the chiropractor and I literally asked if, I, I literally asked if the secretary needed prayer. And I was talking to her for a little bit because I, I, because I could feel the Holy Spirit was, come, was, was pulling me to speak to her. And I asked her if she needed prayer, and she started to cry, and she said, "I do, but I don't know what, what, I don't know what I need prayer for." And that's what's so beautiful and so glorious about having God's glory flowing through you. You are a representative for Jesus Christ. You are a representative. So when people look at you, you want them to see Jesus and nothing less. You want them to see God and nothing less. And so the reason why she cried was not because she saw Ajani, but because her spirit felt, her spirit felt the glory that's flowing through me, through my love for Jesus Christ. And she felt Jesus Christ through my affections toward her light and toward her soul. And she started to cry. And I told her, I said, I said, I'm going to pray. And, and I, when I tell people, I make it very clear. When I say I'm gonna pray for you, I'm not just gonna think about you. A lot of people, they say, I'm gonna pray for you and they just think about you. Mm -mm. When, I say I'm a, I'm, when I say I'm gonna pray for you, you're going in my prayer book, I'm fasting, and I am avidly praying for you. I am keeping you in my prayers. I am marching around my house, declaring and decreeing for your freedom. That is prayer. That's prayer. So when I tell people I'm praying for you, no, 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 no. You don't understand. I need to make it clear. You don't understand. I want your soul free. You don't understand. 
I, I don't tell them all that, you know, but, but people don't understand. They just think that, oh yeah, you know, I'm going to think about, mm -mm, no, no, I'm going to care about you every single day until you're saved. And I'm going to pray for you avidly until you're saved. So this girl that I met at the chiropractor, she started to cry. And I said, you know what? I said, it's okay. I said, then we're, I'm going to pray for your clarity and I'm going to be back here. And I'm going to ask you what you need prayer for again. And we're going to pray. Okay. And she said, okay. Okay. And I said, okay. I said, I said, God bless you. And I just declared over her life that God is just going to radically move through her life. And God will. And so it's like, are you laboring? I talk about God every single time I'm with my coworkers. Every single time. I give God the glory for everything. Every single time. I need, you, you know, be a Christian with your whole chest. Be a Christian with your chest. Don't be no secret Christian out here. Don't be no secret Christian out here. Jesus did not die on the cross so that we could carry his name in shame. That's not what Jesus did that for. That's not what his love did for us. His love did not give us a spirit of fear. I fear no man. I fear no man. So I'm going to preach the gospel at work. When I go to the chiropractor, when I go to get my coffee, I'm going to share the gospel with every single person that the Holy Spirit compels me to. Every, before you leave your house every single morning, pray for the Holy Spirit to put you in the path of someone that needs your prayer. Pray for the Holy Spirit to put you in, in that path. And it might make you feel uncomfortable at first. And you might even pray for some people that the Holy Spirit didn't tell you to pray for. But by taking those risks, by taking those risks, that's what's going to strengthen. That's what's going to strengthen your relationship with the Holy Spirit. That's what's going to help you understand what's the Holy Spirit's voice and what's your voice. Okay? So, so yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't leave Jesus out the workplace. Just take, take the leap of faith. And if, and if your job fires you, that's an even better testament for what Jesus went through. They're going to hate you because they hated him. And if they fire you, <laughs> and if they fire you, that is just like, um, what is it? It's like in the New Testament, I can't remember. But it's like, you know, take every single... Take every single hardship with joy because Jesus only experienced hardship when he came here to save us. And so when you experience hardship, it's an honor. It's an honor to experience that in the name of our God. Uh, so yeah, this is just a word of encouragement and, and um, you know, don't, don't, um, don't lose faith that your words are dropping onto the floor. Because if you walk in, if, if, if you dwell in the place of the Most High, none of your words drop, drop to the floor. And it might seem like, you know, you might talk to somebody and it might seem like you didn't make a change in their life. But you might be the sower and someone else might be the waterer. Your every single small action that you do on behalf of God, none of that falls to the floor. None of God's word falls to the floor. I prayed for this girl at the Dutch Bros like a couple weeks ago. And she was like, wow, I feel so good. And I told her, I said, that's the Holy Spirit. I said, you know, just, just, just seek God and I'm going to keep you in my prayers. And I did. And then the next time I came back and she was like, she was like, oh, how's your day? I'm like, wow, God bless you. Because, you know, I never hear a worker asking me how my day is. I'm like, you have such a good heart. Like, I was like, wow, you have such a good heart. She was like, oh. she was like, oh, I think you prayed for me the last time you were here. I was like, what? She was like, yes, that was like one of the nicest things anyone's ever done for me. And I haven't stopped thinking about it. And, you know, at the time, I didn't know. Like, I was just like, you know, I just thought, you know, it's, it's just a prayer. It's just a prayer. And I'm just doing God's work. But it really impacted her to the point that she re remembered, like she, like she remembered like my spirit cause she didn't even remember my face, but she was just like, oh, like, like, yes, like that's, that's you, that's you, you know? So, so just be bold, just be bold. Our, our father is so bold. Jesus is so bold. The Holy Spirit knows no fear. So just do it, just do it. Just do it everywhere. <laughs>
eat the word, speak the word, sleep the word. Every single thing about God is so good. Um, you know, God bless anyone who watches this video and please subscribe and help my ministry. Okay.